On Monday, July 9th, 2012, the FBI is set to take all computers that are infected with the malware known as DNS Changer offline for good. Launched by Estonian cyber criminals, DNS Changer malware infected Windows PCs, Macs, and routers across the world and enabled the crooks to hijack victims' web traffic and reroute it to rigged sites. So basically what this malware does is when you're surfing on the internet and you go to a certain site, you'll think that you're at that website like your bank or your PayPal or anywhere. But you're actually at an imposter version of that website hosted by these malware operators and they can fish your personal information to get access to your accounts and stuff. Just redirects you to like these just slightly different websites that are just kind of ripping off other websites. Can you imagine how much money they get to redirect your browser to a page where they know you're gonna click and you do end up clicking and they do that how many thousands of times or who knows how many people got this virus. It's a scam to say the least. They are phishing information and they are probably committing click fraud or whatever to get money for advertising. So I guess the FBI busted this whole ring of criminals who were operating this malware ring and they took them down last November. FBI set up surrogate servers to keep the computers infected with the Trojan temporarily online so users could clean them. But on July 9th, those servers are going to come down. There's a site you can go to to check if you are infected or not. If you are infected, there are ways to, I guess, eradicate that from your system. This is all very shady if you ask me, and there's probably more to it than we know. I don't know what's really going on here. You guys can wager a guess as to what is actually happening here, if anything. So everybody's a little bit different about their computer as to what they will and will not click on and the chances and the risks that they take with their computer by what they download and open and stuff like that. Well, just for you guys, I'm going to go ahead and take one for the team and I will go ahead and go to this government sponsored website that has us detect if we have this malware and what we're just gonna see what it looks like because I'm not scared my computer is completely full to the brim again like always and needs to be wiped out I don't care if they start monitoring me I'm not paranoid about that if they were going to they probably already are and frankly my dear I don't give a damn so here goes but you, however, might feel different about that, and you might not want to go to this government-sponsored website to have them detect this malware on your system or not. So, we're just going to try it. So I guess you just go to this website, and it tells you if you're clean or not. Pretty creepy, though. FBI.gov. So well, my IP address is not configured to use the rogue DNS servers, according to the FBI. Server not found. This is the computer screen thousands of internet users could wake up to on Monday morning. If your computer's DNS settings aren't set properly, if they've been altered by the malware, then you're not going to be able to connect to the internet, even if everything else is working. In this case, the malware is called DNS Changer, and it's wreaked havoc on hundreds of thousands of computers worldwide. The FBI brought down the ring of hackers last year, but they couldn't completely disable the operation, or the internet would have gone down for thousands of affected users, including some Fortune 500 companies. So the government created a safety net to correctly direct internet traffic. But that costly program ends at 12.01 Eastern Time, Monday morning.
Go to Control Panel, Network and Internet, Network and Sharing Center. I've got one network connection, so I'm going to click on the Local Area Connection link. Uh, you might have more than one connection, for example, LAN and wireless, so be sure to check out both. Click Properties, choose IP version 4, click again for its properties. Here you see the IP address configuration screen for the network connection. Now most computers will and should be using obtain address automatically, and in techie speak that means use DHCP. If that's what you see here, your computer's okay, of course you still need to check your router. But if on this screen you see a DNS server specified with a hardwired IP address, you need to check that it's not one of the ones on the FBI's list. Those are the DNS servers which disappear on the 9th of July. While you're about it, have a look at your ISP's website. I found my own ISP's official DNS server list pretty easily. Right, that's Windows. Let's have a look at reconfiguring a router. To keep myself vendor agnostic, this router is running OpenWRT. I'm going to log in. And right here on the main summary page, I go down to the section WAN status. And here I can read off the DNS servers that are currently being used by my router.